So today I get up feeling very, very funny. And because I was feeling very funny, I started asking myself very funny questions. I started asking myself um, how and how and why it is possible for me to breathe. Can you imagine? How is it possible? And how do I breathe? And this funny question got me thinking, by the way, how is it possible for me to breathe? And as I was pondering about this question, something came into my mind. I realized that I am. it is possible for me to breathe because I let go. Just letting go. Now, just imagine. Breathe in. Breathe out. So for you to be able to, to breathe in, you need to let go of the breath. Now, when you let go, you're able to breathe in. You cannot breathe in without letting go. Wow, very, very interesting phenomenon, I guess. But um, when we talk about letting go, letting go is the opposite of clinging on to. It's the opposite of holding on to or grasping on to. So whenever you let go, you're allowing that thing that you're holding on to, that you're clinging on to, that you're grasping on to, to be. You are allowing yourself to be. Not the way you wish, not the way you desire, not the way you need, but the way it's supposed to be. A few years back, I was doing a study. I wanted to find out why uh, people, what are the reasons that have kept people in marriage for more than 40 years and above. So I had to carry out uh, an interview and talk to these married couples that have made it 40 years and above. And I wanted also to know why is it that people cannot even last one to three years or five years in marriage. Many break up even before their honeymoon ends. And the answer I got from the people that had spent 40 years and above in marriage was very simple. Many of them told me, 80% of them told me that their marriage have been successful and have stood the test of time because they let go. Letting go is the test. Letting go is the principle. You cannot have love and hate in the same glass. Whenever love hits on the door or knocks on the door, hate has to run away through the window. And whenever hate knocks on the door, love runs away through the window. So for you to be able to stand the test of time, you need to let go. Let go of the mistakes. Let go of the bad habits. Let go of the bad circumstances. So that when you let go, you start now seeing the beauty. You start a new life. You start appreciating because love has come in through the door. The only challenge standing between you and your desire, between you and your need, between you and your and whatever you wish to have is conformity. Conformity to the norm. Conformity to stay the way you are. Conformity to stay attached to those circumstances. Sometimes conformity is self-imposed. And because it is self-imposed, that means you still have the power. You still have the choice to choose either to let go or to conform. And today I want to tell you that this is the time to choose to let go. Just imagine. Is there anyone who gets up in the morning and tells you, hey, let go of that breath so that you can leave? You find yourself doing it each and every time for you to leave. And by nature, whenever you release, you receive. And this is the same principle that God was trying to teach the Israelites in the wilderness. So you can imagine it took the Israelites 40 years to get to the promised land. But then, even within those 40 years, they failed to be transformed. They failed to let go. If you can ask, there is no person who has ever seen miracles than the Israelites in the wilderness. They wanted food, God gave them manna. They wanted water, they had Moses had to eat a rock and water came up. They had shoes, they had everything. They had every miracle that was performed amended in their presence they could never change their mind so they never let go and because they failed to let go they did not reach the promised land but now who are israelites because many of us think the israelites are those people that live in israel you know yes the israelites are descendants of jacob and jacob 
is your thought of consciousness. Jacob is the only son, the beloved son, the God's son, and who is you and me? So stop looking for Israelite out. Look for it within because you are God's son, the beloved son, the only son of God. But if you decide to stay in Egypt, Egypt signifies mental bondage of your senses or thought. It can be the darkness beliefs of ignorance and materiality that take place in your mind. And many of us have refused to let go of Egypt and get to the promised land as promised. So within the 40 years that they spent, and 40 remember signifies a physical completion, God was trying to, to, to transform them so that they can let go of their bondage, let go of the materiality, let go of their ignorance, so they can get the Christ or God's consciousness, which is their awareness of being, because they are God's children. Oh, so every time you find yourself or you catch yourself clinging on to something, holding on to something, you need to remind yourself that the only choice you have is to let go. Let go on that that you're clinging, grasping, and holding to so that you can receive something new and transformative. Let your breath be a reminder that you should let go all the time. There is something very fascinating I found with the eagles. The eagle does not break the shell for the eaglet to come out. Irrespective of what happens, the eagle lets the young eaglet that is within the shell to break it for itself. That means the young eaglet learns how to let go of where it is so that it can have life. And in any instance, if the eagle tries to break the egg or the shell for the young eaglet to come out, the young eaglet dies. So you need to let go by yourself so that you can receive. There are instances where we receive these amazing packages, amazing packages. But what you do is you let go. You have to tear it so that you can get the gift that is in the package. So look for the gift in the package other than the package itself. There are instances where we go and this pastor, this preacher, this prophet is rich, he's amazing amazing but you don't have to stick to the messenger stick to the message so you let go of the messenger irrespective on how glamorous on how eloquent they are but get to the message and that is what is important so letting go is a phenomenal that me and you should learn me and you should use in our daily life so that we can be able to receive because you cannot receive unless you have let go of that that you're clinging and holding and grasping onto. Remember where you learnt it from. The Gardener's Field.